There are moments when you need support. Toyota and Idaimitsu, a Japanese petroleum business, have announced their alliance. Hey everyone! Welcome back to Tech Addicts. Toyota finally announced a huge update regarding its solid-state batteries. But before we go any further, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic updates on your favorite cars. Toyota was the only major automaker trying to develop solid-state batteries on its own up to this point. Likewise, other automakers have experimented with solid-state batteries by forming alliances with different tech firms. However, rather than working with an electronics or battery company, Toyota is partnering with one that has a larger presence in the petroleum sector. Because lithium sulfide is a byproduct of petroleum refining, the two businesses are working on lithium sulfide-based batteries, which explains why a petroleum company is attempting to enter the solid-state market. In fact, since 2001, Edaimitsu has been developing sulfide solid-state battery technology. Together, Toyota and Edaimitsu are working on all of the key components needed to generate a solid-state electric vehicle battery, including establishing the chemistry, creating and optimizing a mass production method, and constructing factories to actually make the solid-state batteries that go into automobiles. Sulfide-based electrolytes are the main focus of both businesses. They are reported to stick to other materials easily, which is obviously an essential quality in the making of batteries. It is also claimed that sulfur electrolytes are rather soft, which will facilitate bulk production. Following the development of a solid-state electric vehicle battery prototype, Toyota and Edaimitsu plan to build a plant to refine the production process. Instead of being a large-scale production, this will be a pilot initiative. It is not as easy to scale up battery manufacturing from a single testing facility as it would be to double or triple the beginning chemicals, much like one would with recipe ingredients. In example, solid-state batteries are still relatively new to the automotive sector. Toyota and Edaimitsu will investigate future full-scale mass production and commercialization when the manufacturing method has been tried, evaluated, and improved in the pilot program. Neither Toyota nor Edaimitsu has provided a specific start or end date for the pilot manufacturing program, nor have they stated when they would begin mass-producing solid-state batteries. Toyota, however, states that by 2027 or 2028, it will introduce BEVs using solid-state batteries. It must be noted that huge solid-state batteries are a relatively recent invention in the history of stored energy, even though the hazy scheduling may irritate some industry observers. In terms of scientific advancement, they are still in the early phases. Furthermore, while generous funding can often push science forward quickly, game-changing discoveries that transform industries cannot practically be assigned a specific date. Despite the fact that Toyota does not currently manufacture solid-state batteries, the corporation has a lengthy experience with them. Toyota has continuously stated that it will have a functioning solid-state electric vehicle by the later half of the 2020s. This is a bold statement for a technology that is essentially non-existent at this point. Solid-state research began in 2006. Although solid-state batteries have been produced in large quantities for many years, they are now only used in very small, low-power devices such as pacemakers and hearing aids. People in various comment threads have been skeptical about this as Toyota has been releasing press releases for what appears to be a solid-state battery for a number of years. Although it has fluctuated between official announcements, Toyota has consistently maintained a driving range that is well over 500 miles between charges. Following its failure to show up for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, when it had promised to have a prototype battery on display, Toyota's solid-state battery took a significant PR damage. The carmaker appeared to be hoping that by excluding any reference to an Olympic battery showcase, the messy situation would magically disappear. Toyota's attempt to blend in was, however, merely a confirmation of rumors floating around the comment section that the car were the solid-state battery, was one of those technologies that would spend years and years in research labs before ever seeing the light of day, much like self-driving cars. However, despite that unwavering faction that appears to have made it, their mission to incessantly surface in the discussion thread, under any article concerning solid-state EV batteries, boastfully stating that Toyota will never succeed, the carmaker has been progressively moving towards solid-state battery adoption. Many companies in the automobile industry are interested in solid-state batteries as electric vehicles become more and more common. 
For the same energy capacity, they are more portable and lightweight than lithium-ion batteries. Still, solid-state batteries are more common in small devices like pacemakers and hearing aids for the general customer these days. The use of relatively large lithium-ion batteries by smartphone manufacturers, who strive to create as small a device as possible, is a striking example. There are several issues with solid-state batteries that almost seem to be intended to prevent them from being used in automobiles. They are particularly ineffective in extremely hot or cold temperatures. Following numerous cycles of drain and recharge, their interior chemical layers also have a tendency to degrade rapidly. Since few EV owners like to trickle charge their cars every night, this degradation is noticeably worse when rapid charging is used. Moreover, the cost of production is comparatively high. Last but not least, despite the fact that numerous researchers have created solid-state battery recycling techniques, there is currently no extensive infrastructure in place for doing so. To put it another way, every expended solid-state battery ends up in the trash with its valuable lithium. The world is not yet ready for solid-state batteries, since there have already been rumblings in the background regarding the possibility of a lithium scarcity in the era of electronic devices. Since the short-lived RAV4 EV, which was manufactured from 2012 to 2014, Toyota has notoriously refused to release a battery-powered vehicle. This caused nearly useless limited driving range between charges was a hindrance. The widely accepted story is that Akio Toyota, who was president at the time, personally suppressed any advancements made toward electric vehicles in favor of hybrids and hydrogen. It is true that Toyota has been working on solid-state batteries since 2006, prior to Toyota taking over as company president, but the company would not release another electric vehicle until 2023, when current CEO Koji Sato assumed leadership of the company. That is to say, at any point during his time leading the company, the EV-hating Toyota might have decided to scrap the company's solid-state battery development efforts. Toyota has a highly distinctive style in that it has been developing a technology for almost 20 years without releasing anything to sell on dealer lots. A significant component of the business's renowned reliability is its protracted, methodical, and extensively tested product development process. There are jokes that almost everyone has heard, such as the ones about how the comas will still be drifting in chilly space after the universe's heat death, or about how the only things that will survive the apocalyptic event will be roaches and someone's 20-year-old Camry. Toyota has never been a firm that advances automobile technology, which is why its vehicles are renowned for being invincible. Customers should anticipate a solid-state vehicle from Toyota to be just as durable as a Corolla when it debuts in 2027 or 2028, if all goes according to plan. Having said that, what are your thoughts on Toyota's solid-state batteries or Toyota cars equipped with solid-state batteries? Share your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.